Germany is in recession. Revised figures for the first quarter show the German economy shrank by 0.3%. That followed another quarter of falling GDP at the end of last year, meeting the criteria for a technical recession. Shaken by a recent economic disruption, Germany, the biggest European Union economy, finds itself at a crossroads. The loud crash alarm has shocked stakeholders worldwide, sparking urgent calls for Germany to reconsider its deep-rooted connections with China. And now Germany is reconsidering its close ties with Beijing to safeguard its own economic future and political autonomy. In this video, we will dive deep into the German economy and unravel what's happening between Germany and China. Germany is set to cut ties with China, causing a controversial debate within political and economic circles. According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, a group in Paris, Germany might have the hardest time if the world economy gets slower because interest rates are higher and global trade is weaker. Based on some not-so-happy predictions about the world economy, Germany, the biggest economy in Europe, might be the only big country besides Argentina to get smaller this year when the whole world economy slows down. The group didn't change their predictions for how much the UK economy will grow in 2023, which is only 0.3%. This is the third lowest among the big countries after Germany and Argentina. They also think that in 2024, the UK will only grow by 0.8%, with Argentina being the only country to do worse in the big group. As for Germany, their whole economy went down in the first part of the year, which means it's in a recession. A lot of surveys show that both companies and people who buy things are unsure about what's going to happen in the future. About 20 years ago, people were worried about Germany's economy. But then Germany made some big changes to its labor market. This helped its industries grow, a lot, and it became a rich country for a long time. One big reason for this was that China bought a lot of Germany's machines and cars. Even though Germany annoyed some other countries by selling way more than it bought, its economy did well. But being so successful for so long made its leaders feel too safe. They didn't make more changes, and now they're facing the results of that. Now there's a big problem happening in the country that used to be a former European powerhouse. This problem isn't just a small one that can be fixed easily, like the people in charge hope. It might be a sign that things are going to change a lot and not in a good way. This could shake up Europe even more and make the politics there even more split and uncertain. Germany is struggling with high energy prices. The people in Germany are finding it tough to manage their expenses because the prices for energy, like electricity and gas, are high. This is making it harder for them to afford their everyday needs. Called Udesheimer Rheinwerk, announced that it would close the plant by the end of the year. The reason they gave was that the energy costs were too high, which made it difficult for them to keep the plant running. The factories in Germany are making fewer products these days, which is causing a decrease in the overall manufacturing activity in the country. This slowdown is affecting the economy and the people who work in these industries. The European Union and China are major trading partners, but by Brussels' account, they are also systemic rivals. Another problem Germany is facing is the labor shortage. There aren't enough workers in Germany for the jobs that need to be done, which is causing a labor shortage. This means that some businesses are having a hard time finding people to work for them. The way Germany became strong in making things in Europe is not working anymore. They had smart workers and companies that were good at inventing new things, and they had cheap energy to help them. But now, as the older generation of people who were born after the Second World War starts to retire, Germany is heading towards a big problem. They won't have enough engineers, scientists, and other smart workers to keep their companies doing well in the world. In the next 15 years, about 30% of the people who work in Germany will be old enough to stop working. Unemployment rose year on year by about 200,000 in June, a month when companies normally add jobs. Though the overall unemployment rate remains low at 5.7% and the number of job vacancies high at nearly 800,000, 
German officials are bracing for more bad news. The situation in the job market is getting harder, and more people are not able to find work, so the number of unemployed people is going up. Also, the rate at which new jobs are being created is slowing down. It doesn't seem like Germany will get better anytime soon. The problems they're facing might not go away for a while, which means they won't be able to recover quickly. Dealing with a mix of expensive energy, not enough workers, and a lot of complicated rules, many businesses in Germany are having a hard time. The country's main bank has told these businesses to be careful about how much they depend on China. They say that being too close to China is risky for the way Germany does business. For a long time, Germany has been close to China when it comes to trading. China is the biggest country that Germany trades with. And last year, they did about 300 billion euros worth of business together. People used to think that this friendship was a big reason why Germany was doing so well. And it showed how countries could work together well. For the past seven years, China has been the most important country that Germany trades with. And a big reason for this is that Germany sells a lot of things, like cars, to China, and also buys a lot of things from China. But now, Germany is telling its companies that they need to rely on China less. They made their first plan for dealing with China, and they said that if these companies got into trouble because of problems with other countries, the government wouldn't help them with money. Annalena Baerbach, a government official, said that the companies that are too dependent on China will have to manage the risks on their own in the future. She said this when she talked about the important plan that focuses on making the relationship between Germany and China less risky. The European Union started calling China a big rival in 2019, and the president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, thinks it's a good idea to make the parts of the economy that are the most important to the EU less dependent on China. Germany thinks that the businesses in the country need to do most of the work to make sure they're not too connected to China and to find new places to sell their things. Even though China is still important to Germany, the way it acts is making it harder for the two countries to work together well. Baerbach said that China has changed, and that's why Germany needs to change how it deals with China too. But won't Germany's economy suffer more if the relationship between the countries is destroyed? Germany is getting more concerned about their relationship with China, especially since President Xi Jinping, who is a powerful leader, became even more important this year. China's increasing control and human rights issues have made Germany think hard about how they work with China. This concern grew stronger when the Greens, a political group not very trusting of China, joined the government in 2021. Germany is particularly worried about what might happen if China tries to take over Taiwan. This could cause global disruptions and affect German companies' ability to sell in China. Despite the government's warnings, German car companies like Volkswagen, BMW and Mercedes-Benz still see China as their top market and are investing to maintain their sales, even with the increasing competition from Chinese car brands. Top executives at big companies like BASF and Siemens are promising to protect and expand their presence in China. BASF, a major chemical company with a long history in Germany, has been a key part of the country's industrial growth, driving innovation that made Made in Germany well regarded globally. However, its recent big investment worth $10 billion is not happening in Germany but rather in China, about 9,000 kilometers away. Interest from foreign countries in investing in Germany is also going down. The number of new foreign investments in Germany has been decreasing for the last five years and reached its lowest point since 2013 in 2022. Germany's heavy focus on industry makes it especially vulnerable. Except for software maker SAP, the technology sector in Germany is not well developed. In the financial sector, the biggest players are known for making risky investments and being involved in scandals. Manufacturing makes up about 27% of its economy, compared to 18% in the United States. Germany is facing challenges because its most important industries, like chemicals, automobiles and machinery, rely on technologies that were developed in the 19th century. 
While Germany has done well by making these products better over the years, many of them are now becoming outdated, like the internal combustion engine, or too expensive to make in Germany. Economic growth usually comes from new ideas and innovations, but as Germany's old industries start to decline, the big question is what will take their place? Right now, there doesn't seem to be anything new and big on the horizon. In the Global Innovation Index, which ranks countries based on how good they are at coming up with new things, Germany is only in eighth place and not even in the top three in Europe. Marcel Fratscher, who leads Germany's DIW Economic Institute, says that Germany doesn't have anything to offer in the most important industries that are focused on the future. What they do have is old-fashioned industry. Looking at the past 15 years, it's clear how technology can change an economy or leave it behind. During this time, the U.S. economy, driven by the growth of Silicon Valley, got 76% bigger and reached $25.5 trillion. Germany's economy only grew by 19% and reached $4.1 trillion. In terms of money, the U.S. added nearly three times the size of Germany's economy during that period. The decline of Germany's industrial sector will greatly affect the European Union, as Germany plays a vital role in connecting the region's economies. Despite blaming external factors like unfair policies in the U.S. and China, Germany's problems are primarily internal and difficult to solve.